Hello and welcome to Let's Play Toho Series an Undefined Fantastic Object. This to me is the hardest game of the series and I think it's definitely possible that I'm going to fail this. So I'm a bit scared, but uh, if I end up failing then uh, I'm not the kind of person who likes to use continue, so I'll just stop when I fail and you'll get another LP of this another time. Anyway, so after the events of the previous game it appears that there's some kind of huge ship, treasure ship apparently, flying on in the sky and uh, Reimu, Marissa and Sanae are curious about it and uh, one of them goes and check this thing out. I think the, that, that flying ship actually it was launched by the geyser from uh, Subterranean Animism so uh, it's a funny link between those two games. I'm going to play as Sanae B. Uh, for me, she's the best shot type, shot type in the game, though I haven't really used her for a long time, so I hope I just can do it and not be surprised by stuff. So, let us go and go and also go. Stage 1. One thing about this stage on Lunatic, every... well lot of random fairies, when they die, shoot a bullet straight at you. At the beginning and at the end, I think. Uh, it's the best stage one in the series for me, because it's a good balance between... Uh, well, its difficulty is fine. It's not too hard like the one in Subterranean Animism, and it's not too easy like most of the other ones. I almost got hit there. Those people who are learning this game, you can also learn my UFO uh, usual strategies by watching this. So I use I like going for red, then rainbow, and then the next one is going to be another red. Anyway, here's our mid boss. Uh, the best stage one mid boss in the series. That's not worth worth much though, I guess. Again, for good difficulty reasons. Not too hard, like Kisume was a bit too hard for me. And most of the other ones are too easy, so good balance, good balance. Now it's for red UFO. Don't kill the big one too fast, because then I'm going for greens. This part of the stage, it's nice to have it memorized because otherwise those fairies will really flood the screen with bullets all over the place. And then end by getting those two green ones. Good! Actually did the stage on my first try. And here's our boss. Nazrin. She's the mouse. And uh, you see those two big rods? They're some kind of treasure detectors. And uh, she actually uses them for her attacks. If you remember for her spell card from earlier, uh, Busy Rod it was called, um, had lasers coming from those rods basically. You can even see them on her sprite. I'm going to say it again. This is the best stage one boss in the, ge in the series. Not in the game, I keep doing that mistake. Be careful her op for her opener, it's not. It's not as easy as, as it might seem. Stay at the bottom of the screen and try to react quickly. Anyway, I really like both her spell cards. First one is, I think, mostly static. Um, not sure about staticity of the shot, but she does the, first, the same movements all the time, so you can use that. Sanai B actually doesn't have that much power, it seems. Well, I'm not used to using her shotgun, un unfocused shotgun. Not going to go into the details of that. Anyway, the second on spell is a bit easier. And the second spell is one of those spells which is very easy with Sana AB because of her splash damage, I believe. But this one is 100% static. Fine. It, 
it seems very hard, it might seem very hard, but if you take the time to learn it, then it becomes very easy. I can regularly complete it with uh, even the recipe. It took a long time to learn, but uh, after some time it works. Okay, that's stage one done. Now let's move on to stage two. Stage two is very different different between uh, damn between between even hard mode and lunatic mode. Okay, so you want to stay close to this UFO so that it stays green, and then you want to grab it when the yin yang orbs appear. So when you destroy those yin yang orbs. They make lots of round bullets appear and it's it's all aimed at you, so remember that. I'm going to go for green. Red might have been another option, it doesn't really matter here. Okay, good. Stay close to that green UFO and grab it. Okay, doing good. Mid boss! Don't be too brave about grab getting both those UFOs because otherwise you'll just, you'll just get killed. Just wait for a bit and use the pause between the non spell and the spell to get it like that. Hello, Forgotten World! It's very. Wow, Marissa B moves fast. It's very rainbow themed. Look at those colors. Bomb. Sometimes this spell just walls you for no reason, so don't be afraid to use bombs. And I'm going to bomb again to grab more UFOs. And here is a part where Sanae B is awesome because she can really destroy all those fairies very easily. I'm going to actually do this. When you summon a UFO during a dialogue sequence, they all explode immediately. So I didn't get to fill it up, fill it with items, but I still got the life, life part for destroying it. And I think it was a good strategy. So here's our boss, Tatara Kogasa. Hardest, hardest stage 2 boss in the series. Uh, her, her first spell card is really, 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 really hard. And the other two are also not easy. Yes, yes, yes. But a very good, very good boss, nonetheless. Also, her eyes are of different colors, and she's an umbrella. She is actually an umbrella, and the the lolly underneath is just a consequence of that. Weirdly enough, Caracasa. It's kind of umbrella monster, traditional Japanese stuff. Anyway, her opener is easy, and the rest is hard. Don't be afraid to bomb like a madman if you feel the need to. Parasol Star Memories. Oh god, this is a hard attack. And wait, 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 wait! Yes! I actually captured Parasol Style Memories! Happiness! Happiness! Second non-spell. Be very careful. Very, very, very careful. It's much, it's much easier with Ray move for her hitbox. Second spell. Try and stay under her as much as possible. Even though it might... Even though it's probably safer at the edges of the screen, you really want to try and be aggressive. Excellent! And her last spell. It's not that hard, but I really suck at it. And that was a really bad demonstration too. <laughs> Two bombs. Ah! Oh well. Two, two bombs for Kogasa is still pretty decent, so I'm alright. Yeah, Kugasa is actually a yokai who wants to surprise people, but she keeps failing at doing that. 